starts with a standoff at a motel. Then someone inside reportedly fires shots at police and flips out the back window. That's when the manhunt starts. Welcome to News 2 at 4. I'm Alex Dennis. That manhunt ends with Rawson Pickett in custody. Police tell us they took him into custody after a brief struggle. He admitted to firing at officers trying to scare them away from the back window he allegedly used to escape. Stephanie Langston is live in Shelbyville for us tonight with an interview with a witness you will see only here on News 2. Stephanie. That's right, that witness originally apprehended as police say that Ross and Pickett snuck out of the back window of this motel room here where you can clearly see the aftermath, broken glass from where the bullets shattered the windows. The tear gas deployed to try and get the suspects out still actually so strong that it's burning our eyes and nose just to be this close. Police telling us seven shots were fired from inside the room out towards officers and an employee that were on the other side. Now you are seeing exclusive video from inside that room and we did speak with one of three men that were inside when the shots were fired. Philip Johnson says he had a friend staying in the room but that he did not know the shooter. I sit down, I hear a bang at the door. Boom, boom, boom. We know what that is. It's the police. Police. He didn't say it. Then some said boom, 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 boom. It's the police. I didn't say he the police. Still, ain't nobody. Oh, they looking at each other. Ain't nobody gonna get to the door. Now Johnson and his friend ultimately released by police and now considered witnesses. Johnson did go on to did go on to describe the moments. He says Pickett picked up the gun, aimed it towards the door, and then his nonchalant attitude after firing those shots. We're going to hear more from him coming up on News 2 at 5. Reporting live from Shovelville, Stephanie Langston, News 2.